All right, so we are making our way up into Coyote Canyon. I've not been out here for quite some time, but uh, as I recall, there's a couple of uh, creek crossings out here, a little bit of uh, technical areas, and uh, lots of scenery, so stay tuned. So Coyote Canyon is on the north end of the park. Lots of real, lots of real estate out here, and uh, I'm really surprised that uh, it's December 31st, and uh, we've got a bit of a bloom here. Some beautiful purple flowers gracing us on the left and the right. road is incredibly smooth. I have not aired down yet, but I probably will soon. And for a Saturday, I'm really surprised at how few vehicles I've come across so far. So as expected, uh, the road conditions did get a little bit more rough, but still very manageable. So I aired down and we are just cruising along very smoothly now. Third crossing. Gonna be a little wet. Winter time in the desert. All right, so things are about to get interesting. This is a piece of cake for my four-wheel drive Sprinter van. We are about to find out. Been up this section many times before in a Jeep. Also in my Subaru Outback. First time for my Sprinter. Let's see how she does. Once was a pretty treacherous uphill climb. It has been completely smoothing out. So I don't think we're gonna have any problem cruising up here. My YouTube channel, Terrain 4x4 Adventures. Well, here's your little story. You see this horse? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a good story. If, if you go to the memorial, which is right over here, this is the memorial, it talks about, um, it talks about the expedition of Juan de Anza that came here in 1774. And he pitched a camp right there. This was where they, they were looking for a route to Alta, California. Right there in that spot, there's also a memorial that talks about um, a revolt of Indians from the Werner Ranch. So this revolt happened in 1861, and the Indians revolted against the, the, uh, the, their controllers, their masters, and they took a bunch of cattle and horses, and they lived in Coyote, in, uh, Coyote Canyon here for decades. Wow. Right, along with the cows, 
her father was from that group. There used to be wild horses up here. They got wow. the last of in 2003, and she's out of those horses. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Right <laughs> so there's your story. Wonderful. So Thanks for sharing. It's absolutely true. You got a Mustang from the area. <laughs> Enjoy your ride. Such an epic trail. This is really, really sweet. Downhill here. We got this. We got this. Gonna go find a place to park it tonight. Celebrate the new year, bring in 2023. I am looking forward to it. this all right when there's a fork in the road what do you do we're going left sheep canyon all right so making our way up to sheep canyon such a cool drive pretty smooth going. <laughs> A little bumpy, but I think we got it. Oh, the dishes are rattling in the back. back at you on day two in Anza Borrego. Out for a nice morning sunrise walk. The beauty of the desert is just amazing. I always thought it was just a bunch of dirt. But there is just some incredibly interesting plant life out here. Putting some blooms. Color. Beautiful morning. All right, so I wanted to give you a quick visual of uh, my route yesterday. So I started out at the visitor center in Borrego Springs and then headed north on DiGiorno Road, I believe it is, and then made my way up to Sheep Canyon here. And uh, so today uh, my route is gonna take me down to Fonts Wash. I'm gonna take this all the way down and connect up with the Hills of the Moon wash. I wanna go check that area out today. And then I'm gonna make my way out tonight and I'm planning on catching the sunset over at Yucky Pass. At least that's a plan. We'll see how the day goes and uh, where we end up.
All right, so about two miles up into Fonts Point Wash. On the left-hand side, you'll come up to Short Wash. And that's uh, where we're venturing now and see what we're gonna be able to discover out here. All right, things are about to get interesting. We got this. So that was pretty cool. Took it nice and slow. No need to rush on a trail like that. Oh my goodness. Look at the beauty. This is awesome. All right, so cruising down Short Wash. Came across a sign that uh, looks like it's gonna point me to Vista Overlook. So uh, I took a right turn and we'll see what we're gonna find. Trail's starting to get a little tighter as we come up to the top here. This is so cool. Glad I made that right turn. Love not having any type of real itinerary. I gotta say, I like that view. Check that out. All right, sorry about all the wind noise, but oh my goodness, check this out. Fonts Point is amazing. looking for but that's okay because clouds came in and I think took away what was going to be a great sunset but we're going to see what we can find up ahead at the hills of the moon wash all right so the sun has set so I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to be able to show you but I will be back tomorrow and continue with this video and continue to share my explorations. So you've hung in this long, stay tuned for more. All right, so this is why they call it Hills of the Moon. Feeling almost like I'm on another planet. All right, so that's a wrap. Day three here on my little exploration of Brego Springs and the Anza Brego Desert State Park. It's been just a fantastic time. I did mention that I was gonna be returning to Hills of the Moon, but as you can see from that last photo, things got rather tight. <laughs> More of a Jeep trail than a Sprinter van trail for sure. Um, so I just returned back for the night and uh, the same spot that I've been the other night. I will leave the GPS coordinates in the description below. Really peaceful area up here in Coyote Canyon. Um, it's just been just a lovely day, just kind of hanging out, enjoying some coffee and some good scenery. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, maybe hit the like button. And add a comment um, or question. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Not an expert of Anza Brego, just getting to learn it a little bit better. I've been out here for a number of times over the years, but it's been a while. And just really starting to enjoy it and this home away from home. So thanks again for coming along for the ride. And uh, again, subscribe and I will continue to add 
content as to where this Sprinter van takes me and my Bellaroo and Mrs. Adventure, who happens to be up in Steamboat Springs, Colorado with my daughter, enjoying the winter up there for a couple of days. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back with more videos soon.